We're with Jackie Kabanowski, who's uh, in the bow seat of the double, uh, trunks and arms double. She just came off the water after her first race. Uh, did the race go to plan? Uh, it did pretty much go to plan. Um, at the end, I think we just needed to pull a little harder. Um, but tomorrow we got another day. Uh, but for the most part, uh, Tony and I both had a very good race today. Great. Uh, it's, this is your first race yes, in rowing. Yes, yes. Uh, what were your impressions getting to the line at a world championship in a venue like this? And the, what was going through your mind? Oh, gosh. There's a lot going through my mind. Just trying to keep myself, you know, as calm as possible. Just think about my breathing and just focus on our game plan and not worry about the surroundings around yeah. me today. The starting line's intense yes, for anybody. Yes. It gets quiet and all these things. Just, yeah. Did it surprise you at all? Did you... Uh, I try not to think about it too much. I just try to focus again on our boat and what our race plan is and what we practice every day mm -hmm. and not try to focus on all the other countries around us. Right. Now, and how did you get injured or... or I am pressured? actually the only uh, person in the world to survive bacterial meningitis twice and the monococcal bacteria attacked my uh, central nervous system and my muscles uh, and left me with a rare condition called stiff person syndrome. And when I was diagnosed at 35, there's only 22 cases in the world. Wow. So I think there's about maybe 30 cases now, and 63% of the people are already bedridden. You seem pr pretty agile, and now it's... Yeah, my legs don't straighten. You see how I sit? I, yeah. My spine's very V-shaped. Yeah. Very... But otherwise, it's, so is, is getting in the boat and rowing, is it... Comfortable? Is it painful? Oh, it... it's oh sure. I have had so many spasma. I cracked a uh, rib in Oklahoma uh, probably last month, and that get a lot of spasms with the condition. Uh, yeah. My fingers get bent backwards. My body goes in places yeah. that nobody's body should go into. Well, uh, and how did you get into rowing? Um, I was actually invited to um, a camp in Oklahoma in April. I actually just got done doing the Boston Marathon. Got on the plane, went to Oklahoma for four days. Uh, I guess they liked what they saw and they invited me to stay and I met Tony, my partner, who is just phenomenal and him and I lived in Oklahoma together for four months and trained morning, noon and night. Yeah. Uh, so you were doing marathons before? Well, yeah. I've done 57 marathons. I was actually a runner before I was so, in my wheelchair, so I ran 17 of them and did the rest in my racing chair. Wow. So I'm actually going home to do Chicago as soon as I get home. I have a couple things to do. I fly to Chicago. As soon as I get done with that marathon, I get on the plane, go to Boston, and then I'll do the women's uh, 10K race Monday, the day after Chicago. How soon after your sort of health medical episode did you start doing marathons again? Uh, very shortly after. Yeah. I went through a bit of depression, of course, and um, it was a uh, shock, you know, yeah. because I just saw my running career because I ran seven days a week. And, um, it's coming to a great level in my running career. Um, my husband is the one that looked into uh, adaptive equipment. And yep. all the years that I've been running, I never even knew there was wheelchairs in front of the race until I became one of them. Yeah. Um, what was your experience like at your first? Oh, my very first one. I actually qualified for the Boston Marathon. I was so scared. It was kind of like just being like this today, you know? I was so nervous being my first time in, in a racing chair and not sure what to expect with all the other wheelchair athletes. And I actually won, and I qualified for Boston, my very first wheelchair race. Holy smokes. Yeah. So were you, when you were in the lead, were you, were you shocked? Like... Um, I was very shocked, and I wasn't sure whether I was going to maintain because the chair was brand new, so they didn't have the glue, the, the rubber, really good on my rim, so it fell off. So what happened is I tore all my tendons in my arm, and my lead bike guy went and got my my husband and my husband just said push just keep pushing and I just pushed through it and and as soon as I got done with that race I had three more to do I had a Marine Corps New York and Palm Beach Marathon and the doctor told me that I had to stop racing and what I did is I wound up just racing with one hand um, my next Jeez. race and that yeah so, I actually uh, did triathlons too I won uh, the New York City triathlon last year is that uh, what they call Olymp what they call Olympic distance, or is it Ironman uh, yeah, distance? Yeah, the Olympic distance. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't in the. Um, I wasn't trying out for the team. Right. But I actually won, so I just Jeez. went with the uh, 
uh, the physically uh, disabled group, so the uh, elite athletes that were trying for Team USA start three minutes in front of me, and I just bypassed them right in the water and just kept on going. So are you thinking of, of uh, rowing versus... Rowing. Racing, which rowing? Oh, well, oh, I'll never stop marathoning. Yeah. Marathon, like I'll do Chicago. After that, I do. Uh, uh, I'm not doing New York this year. I do that every year. I'm, quite a few of these races. I'm the only uh, woman to run in wheelchair races. Right. Um, Boston, New York, a lot of the big races. I'll do Palm Beach Marathon. I'm hoping Tony's going to come down and do it with me. After that, I have uh, the Miami Marathon, and I think Matt is actually going to do. Uh, Boston with me this year. My friend um, who has SPS like me, he lives in Australia. I met him in April at the Boston Marathon. I got him in and he had a couple guides. So I think Matt is going to be his guide this year huh. in the Boston Marathon. All right. Well, good luck with the rest of the week racing and uh, good talk so to you. Much. Thanks. It was great.